My study in UK made me aware of the power of image uh, that made me uh, want to promote uh, image literacy in Hong Kong. People in Hong Kong are not aware of the power of image. So my work is to let people understand the impact of image. I think the exposure to an enormous cultural diversity both at the university and also in my workplace and the ability once again to apply or observe the application of knowledge management to cultural diversity was tremendously valuable and it was something that I was also able to bring back to the melting pot that was Hong Kong. It values the individual as a whole and a rounded person so it's not just focused on exam results or grades it's about extracurricular activities, a social life um, and really kind of creating a well-rounded person and individual. I think the hard skills obviously were important. We learned how to um, analyse problems, we learned how to um, uh, think critically but also I think most importantly the soft skills that we attained from from going to school in England is, is most important. For example we learned the ability to bounce back, we learn resilience, we learn gr how to be gritty, also um, how to respect others, how to communicate, how to you know, think critically and, 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 and work in a team. These are all skills that are very important as an entrepreneur these days. That advice would be um, to try more things because you don't only learn in classrooms, you don't only learn within, from professors or, or tutors, you learn from being involved in, in, in many activities. Maybe sports, you, you, you will learn teamwork. Maybe debating, you will learn um, critical thinking. And um, so, so just get involved. I study in Edinburgh, and in Edinburgh is a very special city. Um, every year it hosts the largest art festival in Edinburgh. And I have been there for 10 years. I experienced a lot at the festival. So when I return to Hong Kong, uh, I have a lot of experience of hosting events and um, communicate with artists. So it helped for my brain gallery business. I would say this is really a life-changing uh, experience that you uh, get to see things from a global perspective and you know how a city can um, really be charming if they uh, manage to conserve their heritage, uh, keep their cultural intact and also to ensure uh, there's like a cultural diversity and multiculturalism in the city. Well, what I do is I'm researching new design practice to respond to social change. So imagine architects, graphic designer, fashion designer, all working on social issues like aging, climate change or disability. And that's my expertise trying to bring people together to using design skill to think more creative for the society. Uh, UK provide me a lot of knowledge on gender studies such as uh, sexuality, uh, feminism and also, gen and also gender theories and it is very useful for me uh, to uh, build up my framework of understanding on women's problems which are rooted in gender inequality in a patriarchal society. First, uh, the international exposure. Uh, you have so many opportunities of networking with uh, people from different backgrounds, sp uh, speaking different languages and uh, having different cultures. The second benefit is having opportunities to try out so many new things because the UK education system is just so flexible.